What's up, YouTube? Gabe Bauman. Um, today's episode is going to be a little different. Um, I ended up buying some fire starters for camping. Um, these things are amazing. There's really nothing else that I can do right at the moment. I have really nothing to go on in my life. I'm bored as I can be today. Really don't know what I can, what I can find to do or what I can't do. Um, so I'm decided I'm going to talk to my guardian and see if I have money for a bike, a bicycle. Um, and then if I don't, it's okay. I guess I'll be saving every all the money I have and to buy a bicycle that I make from cutting firewood. Um. I have a lock box too, right here. I think it's not near locked. In, no, it's not locked. I had a lot of money in it at one point, and I ended up having to get into it to pay a uh, a certain bill that I needed to pay. Um. So yeah, and as I meant to say the other day. I was, I meant to put, I'm, I made it, started a video about me talking about the, uh, one I want to, I want to call the campsite where I camp at. My campsite, I basically talked to the landowner about that I could have. He told me I could use it and that it's got to keep maintained, mowed, weed eated, um, make sure I pick all my trash and garbage, etc., etc., up. From just doing dealing with it um I really have nothing else to really do today I'm just bored and I really wanted to show you guys these fire starters I bought at Walmart for only like six bucks and some change and I've only used one of them so far to start a fire um yeah um I can't wait for the 6th of September, 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 I think we are in September right now, because me and one of my neighbors are going to go buy stuff for our chainsaws and get firewood cut for the winter, um, I may bring you along for us cutting the firewood, um, to be honest, I got freaking poison ivy again, and I'm upset about it, I wish there was a way to get rid of poison ivy in my life completely. Wish there's a vaccine to where you can get every time you're around poison ivy, you get a steroid shot or something. That usually don't work. I'm on took steroid took a steroid pill today for it to try to help dry it out. Um, yeah, I really don't know. And one thing I really hate doing is folding laundry. That's that's my worst thing I hate doing is folding laundry. So yeah. So yeah. And I wish I had a spit bottle for my chew. I don't recommend anybody to smoke or chew or drink at all. Um, I'm trying to flip a whole new new me, and at the end of this year, to where I quit drinking, quit smoking, quit chewing, just to make myself better. A better human being where I can lose weight. I've been doing really good losing weight. Um, I don't know if I showed you all my uh, my little box, my little milk crate box that I have set up for uh, firewood stuff. So, yeah, here we go. I'll grab it. Here's my little, what do you want to call it, a milk crate. I don't know if y'all can still see if y'all can see me or not, but my little toolbox just hangs there. My hard hat, um, sharpening stones for a sharpener, my wedges, um, my gloves. I have these ones are my sawing gloves. These ones are. Just a backup pair of gloves for cutting wood. 
And I also bought more of the nuts to go on my chainsaw. So yeah. In this little toolbox, let's see what do I have in my little toolbox. Hold on, let me unclip it here. I can easily get it unclipped. Carabiner comes in handy for a lot of stuff. I've had that same carabiner for a while. Safety glasses. A screwdriver. Don't ask why. Um, my walkie-talkie. Speaking of walkie-talkies, I don't even know if it's dead. It's on. It works. Yeah. So, yeah, that. Some needle-nose pliers. A wrench. That is... 11 sixteenths and 19 uh, yeah, there, there. it's just a wrench I have lighters don't know, don't ask why I have lighters in here I have nowhere else to put them right now but the screwdriver and this little this little box I have right here, I made into my little toolbox. Come from a um, cast net for fishing. Put the carabiner back on here. Clip onto there. Everything's all jacked up again, but we'll get it fixed. In here organized again. These dang things are harder than a rock. But yeah. I'm glad I have those finally. Um, I have my steel toe boots for cutting firewood. I don't know how I'm gonna wear those to get because they're still those ones are still brand new. These ones are brand new still. Haven't even put my foot in them or tried to wear them. Don't mind me, I'm falling over. Haven't even tried to wear these yet. Because I have another, I had the other pair that's outside, and then I have my black pair I wear outside for lawn care. So I have firewood boots and lawn care boots. Um, throw that away. I bought, I used my new tent, I used my new tent air mattress a couple nights ago. And you know how I told you all I've been looking for my pouch that has my. Ooh, cramped multi tool and my knife that's used for a lot of stuff around here. So I live on a farm and a seatbelt cutter. It comes in handy for cutting uh, weed eater string. And this thing is dirty. I wonder if I can wash this. I don't know. Can you wash these guys? I have a quote. That's the question I have. Can you wash these? If not, it's okay. Um, yeah, so what else is there new? RC car's still working fine. I'll probably go outside later and play with it. I don't know yet. I might take, bring you guys along with me to see my RC car. Um, really, there's nothing else to do right now. Just wishing I had a spit bottle or something. I'm tired of smoking in the damn house. I'm tired of smoking my bait. And I need to put these in my tool box, in my little tool kit. Eh, fine, be on the floor then. But alright, I'll catch you all on the next one. Gabe Bauman out.